Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you exactly how you can design a sick dashboard UI in Figma. Whether you're working on a new project, revamping an old one, or just looking to level up your design skills. By the end of this tutorial, you'll know how to quickly get started with a dashboard template, personalize it to fit your unique style, and walk away with a layout that looks polished and professional. So let's jump right in. The very first thing you want to do, and this is a real game changer for saving time, is head straight over to the Templates and Tools section in Figma. I know it can be tempting to start with a blank canvas, but trust me. Using templates is a smart way to kickstart your workflow, especially when you want to create something that looks impressive right out of the gate. Figma has a treasure trove of resources, and by starting here, you're setting yourself up for success and saving precious time. Next in the Templates search bar, just type Dashboard UI. You'll notice there are tons of options that pop up. Don't get overwhelmed, this is actually a great thing. Having lots of templates means you can scan through and pick one that closely matches the vision you have for your dashboard. Maybe you're looking for a clean, minimalist look, or perhaps something more colorful and data-heavy. If you're not sure what style you're after, take a moment to browse through, click on a few previews, and see what resonates with you. Sometimes, just seeing different layouts is enough to spark a unique idea. Once you've found a template that feels like a good starting point, go ahead and open it in Figma. You might notice the interface imports it as a new project or file, making it super easy to keep your work organized. This step lets you get hands-on. Now you can zoom in, dissect how different components are built, and really explore the structure of the dashboard the template provides. Now here, where the magic happens. You can either take this template as pure inspiration, maybe you just want to cherry-pick a few great ideas, or you can start customizing it to make it truly your own. Think of the template like a foundation. The bones of a house you get to remodel. Change up the color scheme to match your brand or personal preference. Swap out fonts to give your dashboard a different personality, maybe something modern and bold or slick and understated. Don't be afraid to rearrange elements like charts, cards, or navigation panes. Even just moving things around a little bit can radically change the vibe. If the data or icons aren't quite what you need, go ahead and replace those too. In Figma, you can double-click almost any element and edit it. This is where your creativity really comes into play. Maybe you want to add a custom illustration or include widgets that are specific to your use case, like a weather panel or notification bell. The goal here is to tweak, personalize, and iterate until the dashboard really feels like it's yours. And remember, there's no pressure to get it perfect on the first try. Sometimes it takes a little back and forth, maybe moving a component here, adjusting spacing there before everything feels just right. Don't worry if it takes a few tries to nail the look you're going for. That's all part of the design process, and that's it. You've just learned how to kickstart a sick dashboard UI in Figma using templates, and most importantly, how to make it your own. If you found these tips helpful, make sure to hit the like button. And if you have any questions about Figma or dashboard design, drop them in the comments below. I always love hearing from you guys. And don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials just like this one. I'll see you in the next video.